As people should be free to live their lives how they choose, provided they're not hurting anyone else, there really does need to be reasonable limits on public behavior. For instance, some limits that would probably affect people in the LGBT community the most, like limits that affect whether children can be at pride events that have lewd behavior, or activist teachers in public schools, making the kids memorize all the gender flags or the, the popular gender flags and all their meanings, as well as teaching about different forms of critical theory that break people apart, break society and people as individuals apart, into their uh, identity groups, and there's the oppressor groups and the oppressed groups, and you know how to be a perpetual victim. Reasonable limits are something that we need to stop being so afraid of. If reasonable limits affect one group more than others, you don't lower the limit or lower the standards. You don't decriminalize bad behavior. You figure out why it affects that group more and then see if there's anything that you can do to help lessen those problems in that group. You don't do that by ignoring the problems associated with that group. And talking about the problems is not stochastic terrorism, no matter how you try to break things apart. And this really goes for any group. Coddling bad behavior should never be the answer. For some reason, it's very common for left-leaning pundits and politicians to take the coddling and nurturing route, no matter what, along with the other kind of reaction they have, which is to pretend that the issue or the problem doesn't exist to begin with. Usually, it seems that they do this in order to try to stop anyone from coming up with an answer to it. It's why in many liberal cities, criminals sometimes have more rights than business owners. Did you hurt the criminal's pinky finger when you tried to stop him from stealing thousands of dollars worth of electronics? You might get sued. You should have just let insurance take care of it, right? And if you close the store because of theft and looting, you hate the, insert community here, community. And one of the biggest problems is that if we start pushing the other way, where we crack down on bad behaviors regardless of how it affects different identity groups, especially marginalized identity groups, we might not stop pushing in that direction. And we become a lockdown society where everyone is expected to behave and respond in a very particular way. If we really do start heading towards Christian nationalism with Project 2025 and Agenda 47, I don't know of a reasonable force to stop that ball from rolling. If we vote in Trump, we'll definitely be headed in that direction. And again, I don't know if there are any mechanisms to stop that ball from rolling. You know, to stop it from going too far in that direction. If we vote in Harris, we'll probably learn the hard way what happens when we coddle and are nurturing to bad behavior on a national level. Like the notion that, well, this group is oppressed, therefore we should let them commit more crimes. It makes the statistics look more equitable. And if we learn the hard way, the eventual swing to the right will be harder than ever, like in 2028. And I really don't know how we'd get out of that. Just saying.